In this video, we're going to look at Google Analytics segments, but in Microsoft Clarity. So a segment is basically a way in which to sort of filter the data further. Now these exist within Google Analytics. There's already an integration with Google Analytics into Clarity. If you've not already set that up, go ahead and check out the video on how to do that from within this playlist. Um, or go to meganvwalker.com and search for Google Analytics and you should see um, that there's a, a whole blog post about it as well. I'll link to that in the description from this video too. So we've got the ability to pass data from Google Analytics back and forth. So we basically got this Clarity Playback URL that can be set up as a dimension. So we can use that in Google Analytics to filter data or to find data. And we can also take the Clarity user ID from that playback URL and then use that to filter the data in Clarity. So there's already that sort of back and forth. Now what we've got is the ability to have the segments from Google Analytics and use those to filter the data in Clarity. Now if I'm on the dashboard and I click on segments, we're not going to find anything there. Likewise, if I'm on the heat maps and I go to segments, I'm not going to find that either. However, if we go to the recordings and we look at segments, we've now got, assuming you've got the integration set up, we've now got all of these segments that show up which is really, really cool. So if you're not sure where these are coming from, if I go into Google Analytics and I'm looking at some kind of report, I'm looking at information, then at the top here, we can see that we've got this thing that says add segment. Now, most times your, your default will be all users, unless you're looking at some kind of custom view where you've set up and said use a specific segment, but by default, you've got all users. If I click on that, and then I unselect or deselect um, all users, I've then got all of these other segments that are here. Now, what we have here is all of the system ones. So these are ones that you wouldn't have ever set up. And if you've never paid att attention to segments, you might not even know that they were there and that you can do this. But we've got all of these ones here where I could go ahead and I could say, instead of all traffic, I just want to see referral traffic. So once I've done that, I then I'm just looking at information that has come through and it's referral traffic from somewhere else. So these segments are a way to go ahead and actually um, filter the data in different ways. And what I can also do is I can apply another one so I can have two segments to where then I get a bit of a comparison. So I can see that's all users and that's the referral traffic. All right, so that's what segments are. Now let's have a look and see, well, how could we set up a new one? So if I go into the admin area here and I'm looking at my view of all website data, I can look down at segments under the personal tools and assets. This is showing all of the custom segments that I have. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a new segment and maybe I want to see all traffic where users have gone to a specific page on my website. So what I can do is we can see here that we've got all of these ones that are allowing us to set up segments by demographics, so the location, age, gender, technology, what sort of operating system or browser they're using, behavior, um, sessions, days since last session, all of that sort of stuff. I'm gonna go with condition and the condition is that I want the page, or that I want there to be a page. So if I scroll down to page, contains, and then this is the page that maybe I want to include. And when I put it in there, you'll see that there's a whole bunch there. That's because it's been viewed. So it's just saying, yep, yeah, okay, we, we find this. So this is page contains this. I can filter by sessions or users, and I can include or exclude. So I'm going to say uh, guide to marketing. That's the name of the page. So I basically want sessions where that uh, contains, where that essentially that page is part of a session. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. If I now go back to my um, behavior report, and now instead of, let's go ahead and change this and I'm gonna get rid of all users and I'm gonna get rid of referral traffic. And now I should have, there we go, guide to marketing. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And we can see there that we've got some data. Now, 
We'll see how quickly this has come through, but if I go back over to Clarity, and let's just go ahead and refresh. And if we go back to our segments, that is really fast, that's awesome. So now we can see there that we have this guide to marketing and we can see that now we're filtering and we can see these recordings where the guides to marketing page has actually been reviewed. So to me, this is a really, really cool way because I'm, that I'm not going to necessarily have the ability to do the same level, leveling, same level or type of filtering within Clarity as I am within Google Analytics because we have slightly different data that's being passed through. So we can see there, this is eventually the page that we wanted to track. But so, so that data that's coming through into Google Analytics, I can use that as creating a segment and then immediately that comes over into my Microsoft Clarity project. And then I can just simply click on it. And there we go. There is my, um, there's my segment from Google Analytics that I can then go ahead and use to filter the data. So what do you think? Is this something that you're going to start using? Have you already got the Google Analytics integration set up with Microsoft Clarity? Um, so I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you think you will start using. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.